Hello and welcome to the Grooveheads channel. My name is Benson and in this video I'm going to show you how to configure dynamic DNS on a Cradlepoint MBR 1200B router. Now while this video's instructions are specific to the Cradlepoint brand of routers, the concepts are similar and useful for most other brands of routers uh, as well. So, DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it's the technology that allows you to type in a name like google.com rather than an IP address like 98.11.77.40 uh, whenever you want to try to reach a web server. So why configure dynamic DNS uh, for use with Groove? Two reasons. First, in many cases, the public IP address you get from your ISP uh, is dynamically allocated, and that means it can change at any time. And this could be a problem because if you're trying to reach your groove box from your public IP address and your ISP changed it, you'll no longer get to your groove box, and that could be a problem. Uh, Dynamic DNS solves this problem, and it, what it does is it allows you to map a domain name to an IP address. Uh, and in doing so, and configuring your router, you can have it automatically update that ma mapping should your IP address ever change. And this all happens automatically uh, within your router. So the second reason, you'll be able to access your Groovebox over the internet by a name rather than by an IP address. And usually names are a lot easier to remember than numbers. So how do we get it done? Let me show you. Okay, so here I am in front of my computer. I've got my Chrome browser uh, set up here. And the first step is to configure an account with a dynamic DNS provider. So the best way to do that is to log into your router and see which dynamic DNS providers are supported by your router's interface. So I'm going to log into the admin page here, and I'll type in 192.168.0.1, and that's my router homepage. I'll log in, and the first place I'll go to is over here on Network Settings. I'll click on Network Settings and come down here to DNS. Okay. Now I scroll down and I can see here I have the checkbox to enable uh, or disable Dynamic DNS. So right now it's selected and that's good. And then I'm going to click here on my server types and you can see the various Dynamic DNS providers that are supported by this router. Now I happen to have an account with DynDNS, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that one. It's not a free account, um, but it's relatively low cost at $25 per year and it's very robust. But there are also some free options as well, so you can consider those. So I'll choose Dynamic DNS there, or DynDNS, and then I can click on this link right below there and it'll direct me right to Dynamic DNS or DynDNS's uh, website. I'll go ahead and log in by clicking this button over here. And I'll go ahead and put in a username and password. Okay, and my password. And log in. All right, so now I'm in where I can uh, adjust my services, add hosts, and so on. So I'm going to go over here to add host services. And that's what we want to create as a domain, domain name host. So this is where I can come in here and I can type in Groove. Okay, so I want to use Groove as part of the name to get to my Groove box. Over on this side of the dot is where I put the suffix or the, do the main domain name. I'm going to go ahead and choose DynDNS-Web. So those two together will be the name I'll be able to use uh, to, to get to my Groove box. Now the next step is to immediately map it to the IP address that's currently configured on the router on the WAN side. The good news is that Dynamic DNS or Dyn.com makes that easy by simply looking at my local IP address, and there it shows 98.112.44.170. That's the IP address I currently have from my ISP. I simply click the link, it fills it in, and I activate it. And bingo, I'm in. So now, all I ever need to do is type that address to get to my Groovebox. Okay, now that I've configured my dynamic DNS within my provider's website, now I need to go back to my router and configure it to automatically update that domain name should my IP address ever change. It's very simple to do. I come in here, I choose the server type again, uh, same thing, Dyn DNS. Uh, I can say use HTTPS, and this next portion of the fields is for the router to literally log into the dynamic DNS provider with my account details so it can update the name. So in this case, we just grab the host name, and that's the same host name that you configured, uh, and then my username and password for my dynamic DNS account. 
that's all there is. Then I click apply and I'll see settings were successfully applied. Now the next part is to test it. But a word of caution here. Dynamic DNS does take a little while, actually DNS updating takes a while, you know, sometimes up to 15 minutes, sometimes longer for that name to propagate to all the DNS servers around the world. So be patient, uh, give it a test, and if it doesn't work, try it again in a few minutes and see if it uh, works. So I'm gonna open up a new tab, and now I'm gonna type in the name rather than the IP address of my router, I'm gonna type in the name. And so here we go, HTTPS colon, and let's put in the, uh, the new domain name, groove.dyndns-web.com, just as I configured it. I click enter, and Groove is loading. Great news. So now I can log in with my username and password, and boom, we are in. So clearly everything is working. I didn't have to uh, uh, type in an IP address up here to get to the Groove box. I can just type in the name. I'll click the light bulb, make sure everything's working. Indeed it is. I'll go ahead and change the number on the display. And yep, that's working too. And let's go ahead and start the wheel while I show you the next part. One of the cool things about names as well is when you bring it up on your mobile device. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to log into my phone. There we go. It's my home page. I'm going to go to my browser, Safari. And there's my Safari browser. And I'm going to type in that same name, groove.dyns.com, go. There we go. Groove is loading. Loading pages. Boom. Now, I was already logged in here, so it didn't ask me for my username and password again. But let's go ahead and turn that wheel off while we're here just to confirm everything is working. There you go. So now I've uh, configured my router, I've configured a domain name with my provider, and I've connected the two and allowed the router to update that DNS record automatically should the IP address on the WAN side of my router ever change. That's all there is to it. So thanks for watching and groove on.